Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Race Grooves for another case unboxing video. This is the only thing I do for diecast collectibles on Race Grooves. If you want to see me talk about cars like that Cruising America set, you pop on over to my Mr. Grooves channel. That channel is for collectibles. This channel is, uh, I'm going to keep the unboxing videos here, but very soon you'll start seeing fun stuff come back to Race Grooves like track set reviews, play set reviews and other type videos. Um, Mr. Groove, head on over there if you want to see me talk about cars. Sometimes there'll be something that pops up in the case that I don't talk about during this unboxing video and I will talk about it over there on Mr. Groove's. Here we go. Oh, very nice color for the McLaren. I'm trying to look at the name. Oh, P1. I thought it said P.I. and that's why I paused. It's like there's no McLaren P.I. Why? What is that? I was I didn't know I didn't want to misspeak and then it'd be uh, yeah I didn't want to misspeak. Nice tail light decorations. Look how the red trim goes around the outside, and it looks like it does have a hey a USB charger in the back. Very nice. And you have headlight decorations. Here you have the uh, two Jet Z. This is from the Hot Wheels Legends Tour. It was the winter car. Something's wrong with my uh, speakers. Heavy hitcher. There you go. Hot Wheels Fantasy tow truck in chrome. Next three models. We have Linster prototype. That was a new model in the last case and it carries over into this case. Corvette, 76 Greenwood Corvette. It's not quite the same color as the uh, P1. And here you have the 17 <laughs> Nissan GTR R35. Can you see it on the bottom? 2020 model 50th anniversary edition. This car right here, isn't this the, uh, I'm pretty sure this is the same car that Tanner Fox has for his Guaxilla, except this one's in white. And you don't know, he has his green and his green and, uh, excuse me. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Sassy. <coughs> Special guest appearance. Hi, Sassy. Long time. Five years old, Sassy. How you doing? Sassy and her uh, her family are in the house. I thought I'd bring her. Hey, Sassy. I thought I'd let her run around here while I was filming. There's my track table. Oh, look over there. I told you that the, uh, Race Grooves is going to start getting back to uh, track sets and play sets. There you have it. That'll be uh, coming up this weekend. Well, it should be this weekend. I painted a new wall to put the, uh, <laughs> the wall tracks on a new wall. So you'll see that pretty soon. Here you have the... What? What'd you say? <laughs> Am I in your way? Robo Race, Robo Car. Nice decorations. That nice smooth surface on the top lends uh, very nicely to them putting nice graphics on it. Here is a new model, RV there yet. It's new for 2020, but it is not the first colorway. It's already had other colors. Uh, at least one custom 71 El Camino from Team Hot Wheels. And real quick, here you go, Robo Race Robo Card. It has that on the card. And I was going to show something else on the card. Um, oh, oh, Team Hot Wheels Legends. I mentioned that this one was from the Hot Wheels Legends. It was the tour winner, but this wasn't the color of the guy's car. Honda. There was a time when we would get the Honda S2000 and would get lots of releases. And it's been a little while, so now it's back. Uh, Sassy's back too. Honda S2000 in yellow. You want, you want pets, huh? And let's see, on the back, nothing there. No taillight decorations. You got decorations on the side. And in the front, you have headlight decorations. Nice camel on the 68 Chevy Nova. <laughs> Uh, I like that flying tigers or I'm hearing it called shark mouth too. I had not heard that before. I looked it up. I guess it is being called shark mouth as well. This is a new for 20 brand new. Here you have the 91 GMC Cyclone. This is the first release black and new models when they come out in the first year on the USA long cars. They'll have a little info bubble on the back. Born in 1991, Troy, Michigan designer general motors 
This Cyclone featured all-wheel drive, four-wheel anti-lock brakes, and a turbocharged V8 engine, which at the time made it the fastest, fastest stock pickup truck in the world. Nice little information. Jeez, uh, almost 30 years old for them. Now, uh, I'm not a huge fan of, of these wheels. It looks good on some fantasy cars, right? Some uh, track cars. It kind of looks fun, right? But with a name like Cyclone, uh, you know what? <laughs> Those wheels make sense. Now, it does have the Cyclone badging on the side. Let's see. You can already see taillight decorations wrapping around the side. There's the back. Yeah, this is going to be a hard one to find. This is a lot of people, when uh, they heard this was coming out, they were going to, they already said they're going to be looking for it. No decorations in the front. I'm just kind of trying to get the light to glare on the texture, the headlights, and the GMC logo. So brand new for 2020. First color, first release, and it'll probably be available in the J case as well. There you have another Greenwood Corvette. Here you have another <laughs> long name. Uh, 2013. Hot Wheels Chevy Camaro Special Edition and another heavy hitcher, the Camaro. It has graphics on the side, Gra graphics on the top, and with the basic cars, they usually can only put the graphics on two sides, not three. So, probably not going to have headlights. Nope. Probably not going to have taillight decorations. Nope. We kind of figured that already was going to happen, uh, uh, you know, because it already has the two sides. They say for cost consideration. They could only put the graphics on two sides. So there's the two sides. There you have the 42 wheelies MB Jeep. Thanks for letting me know. I forgot already. It's mug bog, but I think there's an MA Jeep and an MB version, something like that. Uh, I try to commit it to memory. Uh, really hasn't seen that many releases. Took a long break and it has had some colors recently. So something different, fun to have. It's got bumpy wheels in the back, smooth wheels in the front. Hyper Rocker. I love that graphic style. Looks fantastic. And Power Rocket. Either for you or either for uh, kids. This is, uh, kids love this car. So if you want to pick that car up for uh, kids in the family, that's a good car to pick up. Works in the boosters, loops, and curves. Well, the curves, it kind of might slow down because it's long. So as it's going as it's going around the curve, this part right here might rub on the track. And another uh, white <laughs> Nissan GTR. I almost said something, and then uh, 52 Hudson Hornet. This is nice. I almost said something, and it would have been taken out of context. So uh, just better to not say it at all. I'll just leave that to the imagination. And the eight crate came back recently. So here's another colorway of the A-Crate. It is not a new model. This thing is, uh, I don't know, uh, 15 years old at least. But what is new, or rather it's nice to see come back. Hey, white wall tires. Nice. I, I do not recall the last Hot Wheels basic car that had white walls. It just, um, maybe there was one recently, and it just didn't pop out because of this. Uh, no, this is not a white lightning. That's another brand, okay? So white wall tires. You have your white stripes around the edge. They're regular black walls, but as you can see, just white around the tires. Uh, we call that white walls. And there's Pixel Shaker. It's a pixelized version of Bone Shaker. And people were saying that's kind of like for Minecraft, right? So it makes it. I said, uh, I thought it was pixelate. Hey, there's a dude. It's a right on. Uh, <laughs> right on. Sure is. It, uh, I don't remember that. Hmm. Sure enough, look, there's room down there. Do I have a dude? I had a dude here for a little while. Anyways, uh, so yeah, look, it, it opens up here for there, but in here there's a cavity for the legs. It sure looks like one. Oh well, uh, who knows? Maybe I'll look at that on uh, Mr. Grooves. 64 Chevy Nova wagon. I like to collect the wagons. Very nice. Am I done? Anything else? This was a new model this year. It's not the first color. So I'll just pause this because we're going to move on. If you want to read that, don't want to take too much time. I take enough as it is. Duck and roll, new for 2020, new model, last case. There was three new models in the last case. Duck and roll was one of them. And since I read it before, I'll just give you a glance and then you can pause. 89 Porsche, wait, 
89 Porsche 944 Turbo in gold. That was in the last case as well. A really nice looking model. You can see the taillights. Look at nice round edges on nice round corners. Definitely looking like a Porsche. Fantastic. Back to back Porsche. Look at that. 96 Porsche Carrera or Porsche Carrera. And if I would have noticed that sooner, I could have done my dumb joke. There's the uh, Carrera daylight decorations, headlight decorations. Uh, I could have went uh, Porsche and then said Porsche for the other one. And you know, you know how that annoys people. <laughs> we'll, we'll move on. Uh, here we have the B here you have the BMW K1300R and Sky Dome in purple. Audi 4, 84 Audi Sport Quattro. This model, if you find it in a glossy red or Spectra Flame red, that is a super treasure hunt. This is the regular version of the car. And this is the model that Hot Wheels chose to be the superized version of a super treasure hunt. So if you find one with special tires and Spectra Flame paint, you have yourself a very nice release. Uh, pretty hard to find. Maybe it seems like one in 15 cases, one in 20 cases. I don't know exactly how many. Uh, that's pretty nice, by the way. That is not a deco. That is part of a plastic interior popping up into a hole in the hood. Same with the, uh, mm, right there, those parts there. I almost said something again. My dad used to call them something when I was growing up, and I didn't realize he was saying something the kids shouldn't be saying. Nice grill graphics. Uh, what's this? Just dust. Oh, yeah. Here you go, real quick. Uh, this is interesting. Look, uh, they have a, an Olympic series, Tokyo 2020. But I think uh, because of our situation, the Olympics are postponed. Are they going to even happen in 2020? I don't know. Olympic Games, Tokyo 2020. And here you have Sky Dome. And if you don't know about this model, the, we call it Sky Dome. And that uh, dome, the driver's canopy, just it does pop up. There's the Olympic logos right there. When I first started hearing about this, and uh, I seen Tokyo 2020, and I was wondering, is Mattel trying to kind of fudge on the rules for Olympics? Because if they don't use the rings or say Olympics, you know. But no, sure enough, officially licensed. Very, very cool. And this is this is a good track car too. Mm, I was looking to see. Uh, but yeah, Sky Dome opens up. 64 Chevy Nova wagon. This one was already in the case. A uh, nice color for twin mill Gen E, Generation E. Very nice Spectra Frost, Frost color. And here you have Motosaurus, regular release. If you want to see a special version, you can check out my G case. I happen to get a special version in that unboxing video. High Beam, there you go, another Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. High Beam in pink. Nice to get pink cars. I love collecting pink cars. Doing it up, off road model. Have different wheels in the front. Regular smooth tires in the front, and in the back you have uh, bumpy tires. Can't get, there you go, that's better. You see bumpy tires and smooth in the front. Oh, just like that car. I was gonna say, just like the car we showed earlier. Well, that was nice that they were back to back. What's underneath? Thirty-six more cars. I talked about the uh, super treasure hunt. What it would have been. Uh, I actually passed up the uh, basic. I I showed it. You should have seen the Circle Flame logo. I didn't. I gave you enough time to look and to see the logo. I didn't say it was a treasure hunt. Porsche Panamera Turbo S E Hybrid Sport Turismo. Very, very nice color presentation. Got the blue rims with the blue body. Tail light decorations. Rear end decorations. Hey, welcome back. I forget if it has uh, plastic inserts for the uh, headlights or if that's painted. I forget. Can't tell. Let's move on. Here you have 85 Honda City Turbo 2, spunky little model, another spunky little model, cool one, ice cream truck, uh, hot rod, hey, 
What are you doing? Don't make sure you don't turn off my recorder, okay? My microphone. Rockin' <laughs> Rockin' Santa Sled. New for 2020. This is not the first color though. Uh, this is a, a second color. And when you drive, uh, it rocks back and forth. Santa rocks back and forth. Hey, anybody like Silverados? 19 Silverado. Trail Boss LT. You like that? You like that, Sass? Kitty. Hi. And the bat plane on the bottom. There you go, bat plane. We'll take a little bit better look at that. Let's move this out of the way. Oh, I was going to put my cars over there, young lady. Bat plane, check it out. It's all right. It's nice to get. I don't necessarily need a lot of colors. What's nice, though, they do put a, uh, they do put a, a stand right there in the package. This is new for 2020. I didn't actually know for sure, to be honest with you. Uh, because they have some other stuff that's been in the adult collectibles line. I wasn't sure if this one was new or if it was just that one. At a glance, couldn't tell at a glance. Excuse me. Look, the cards. I got more cards. Hey, I see the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, party wagon right there. Hang on, Sassy. You got to go back in. I opened the door. Let me see if she'll hang out by the door. <laughs> I guess not. I was hoping she was going to jump down and go look out the door while I was uh, continuing. Let's see what we can do. I don't think so. I think she wants some attention. Uh, hang on. I'll be right back. Unfortunately, this table is not big enough for Sassy and the case. And uh, I got all sorts. I got, I got a printer right here for packing and shipping eBay stuff. My eBay account is Mr. Grooves as well. Link's in the description below. There's another Porsche, another Linster prototype, and another, uh, I said another party wagon, but actually I think this is the first one I pulled out of the case, right? I lost track of where I was. Let's check out the back. Here you go. Party wagon, born in 1987, New York, you're in New York. I'm interesting. They said that Hot Wheels designed it, but really party wagon is from the cartoon. Cowabunga, Hot Wheels recreates the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Party Wagon from the classic cartoon show. This diecast van pops out of the sewer ready to protect the streets. Or maybe a midnight pizza, uh, a midnight pizza run. It says Nickelodeon at the top of the package. I don't know if it's back on Nickelodeon. Uh, I don't know. Or is, does Nickelodeon own the rights to the Ninja Turtles now? I'm not sure uh, if you're a Teenage Ninja Turtle fan. Are you satisfied? Are you happy with this? Um, tooling how it looks uh, is it something you're definitely going to want to pick it up or are you going to buy it because you're a fan and you just have to buy it and it's just okay you know it's a one dollar model at least they did uh, decorate the top of it as silver and like a reddish the red is only on the back uh, i guess it's a miss hit I, I i presume it's supposed to be well not only that it shows in the artwork it's supposed to be red in the front and mine is not red in the front uh, so that tampo hit was a little off with the red. Do I have another one? We're going to jump ahead. We're going to go ahead and jump ahead right here. And this one much better. The tampo hit is straight on the top. This one uh, is a, a little off to the left. And here. Uh, really, it's the tampo hit, uh, I guess that's all they can do for if they're going to try to decorate that side. They can't make it like that to where it's red in the front because the, the tampo machine can't print that tiny front edge. Good enough, close enough for a $1 basic model. Right, right, they're only, oh, here you go. New for 2020, these are only dollar basic cars, right? So, you know, you get what you get. New for 2020, you have the 19 Corvette ZR1 convertible. First appearance here in the H case. Born in Bowling, Bowling Green, Kentucky. This ZR1 is a high-performance American convertible with a V8 front engine. This supercharged ride can reach speeds of up to 212 miles an hour on the track, making it the fastest production Corvette ever. We have two fastest models in this case. This and the Cyclone, uh, fastest of their time, right? And this is a modern car, 2019. There you go, it just has blacked out tires. But it does have decorations in the back. Let's get it in place. There you have your Corvette wings, tail lights. On top, that part in the middle is plastic. 
it looks like it's the same color plastic as the windshield but uh, there's something underneath uh, there's definitely unless it's textured underneath to give it make it look like a different color because I don't think there's another part under there mm, it'd be too many parts for a basic car maybe if someone on Instagram takes one apart they can uh, they can look at that and see if something's under there me I don't drill my cars apart the only abuse I do is I put them through the boosters HW Formula Solar we'll look at that in a second here you have in the HW Flame Series custom Ford Maverick very nice black with flames a popular Johnny Lightning segment as a matter of fact black with flames Flintecos on side on the top so I'm not expecting them in the back orange orange interior well you know what that part is right there it's just part of the back and same in the front so they just have the interior part making up the front grille interior rear and uh, it goes nice with the flames now this model right here HW formula solar talked about this all skinny wheels and these skinny wheels came out in a series called high speed racing it was a special type series this model is actually pretty fast especially with those skinny wheels um, I always forget the turn the name from but I call them honeycomb wheels because on the other side of the wheel there's like a honeycomb design uh, this side's smooth but on, on the back side there's like a honey to honeycomb type uh, decoration um, inset design something duck and roll another duck and roll I don't remember if I showed you the back from before in this case I talked about it before but here's the Datsun Bluebird wagon 510 very very nice uh, I think there's a couple wagons we had the 64 Chevy Nova wagon here you have the Datsun Blueberg wagon 510 with the Momo graphics very nice uh, I'm looking there's a spot right here I think where that's supposed to be for the gas cap I, I don't think that's a, an error this is definitely a tempo error there should not be a break here but that is supposed to be going around like a gas cap this old dots for the door handle graphics on the top graphics on the side nope nope and I think there's another one that uh, that uh, new model this year that's a wagon but it's a British car so it's it's an estate you know it's not just a regular station wagon here you go another Hudson Hornet Chrysler Pacifica graphics on the top graphics on the side nope it looks like you got spare tires pretty big oh it's not spare tires it's actually like a mm, tire holders so that's where the tires are protected inside there very nice I really like seeing that model yeah it came out with that you know what I like that hey another truck 70 Dodge power wagon uh, you know what with the situation we're in right now with the virus I don't uh, go out but I did go out today first time in about three weeks and I seen this car but guess what it was in a Boulevard's package yeah somebody stole the truck the Chevy Silverado I forget which one and they it looks this this color in the Boulevard series but this is the 70 Dodge power wagon but that's supposed to be the Chevy Chevy Silverado yeah somebody stuck the one dollar car in there returned it bunch of thieves kept the five dollar and fifty cent Silverado and you know what Walmart gave them their money back gave the 550 back for a dollar car nice way to flip a profit there you scumbags here you have the custom 71 El Camino second one in the case by the way the headlights I talk about the one on the right being convex and the one on the left is actually concave meaning it's concave like that uh, I think that's actually like an air, air intake for uh, cooling the engine 96 Porsche Carrera graphics in the rear and you have a Porsche logo on the hood with headlights I wonder if I'm gonna get that other here's the other wagon I was talking about but first bone shaker two bone shakers in the case you had the pixel shaker and now you got the bone shaker with the skull in the front definitely seeing a lot of colors of this model in over the last five years just just a lot and this is the closed roof bone shaker here you have the Volvo 85 estate 
It's kind of, I don't know, it seems, to me it seems skinny. Maybe it's just short, but I'm going to compare it to the, uh, the other one in just a moment. And another cool one. This was the second one in the case. For some reason, this looks like small to me, and this one's not. Uh, you know why? Because the metal goes all the way down to the side right here. Whereas the estate, it looks like the plastic base comes halfway up the body. And so I guess that's why it gave me the impression it was more narrow. Not only that, it is not raked. While the, uh, no, is that raked? No, it's straight. Anyways, we'll move on. Same number of windows, same number of pillars. But it, it's just that plastic part that makes it look like it's uh, not quite as tall. Who knows? Maybe it's still not quite as tall. Doing it up. Seen one. Another Honda City Turbo. Another 2 Jet Z. Nerve Hammer. Fantastic track car. You got to have one in your collection if you're going to race them on the track. Uh, zip them around the boosters, loops, and curves. This car right here, the Ion Motors Thresher. It was a new model in the last case, but I, I did not get one. Yeah, it was not in my case, so I'm glad it's in here. A Netflix, there's a Fast and Furious Spy Racers, so this car is a very cool car in that show, but I did not get one in my case. I said I got a special car. You'll have to go check it out in that video. Ion Motors, so at least I got one, uh, and I don't know, now I might get, now this might be the only one I get, because, uh, uh, I didn't get one in the last case, and in this case, I only got one. Uh, usually between two cases, you wind up with three. But uh, anyways, total disposal, new, 20, new for 2020. It's a scrunchy little garbage truck or recycling truck. You can have a look at that. It's not brand new. It's already been out. It's new for 2020. Uh, but this is not the first case that showed it. I like that car right there. Another Cyclone, uh, to be honest with you, <laughs> it's good that I get two Cyclones as far as the Ion Motors. That one is, that one probably is not going to be hard to find on the pegs once we can really start going out more often. Right now, just basically keeping it to necessities. And we buy our groceries at a grocery store. We want to make sure we spread out our money, cloak and dagger. We don't want to give all our business to Walmart because then what happens uh, to all the other stores that are in your area, right? So we personally buy our groceries at a grocery store. And to be honest with you, I, I, I only buy Hot Wheels uh, diecast from Walmart. Mm, that's about it. I don't buy clothes from there. I don't buy tools. I don't buy anything. Custom Ford Maverick, second one in the case. It's just the way it is. I want to make sure that I spread my money out so that more than one company stays in business, right? Here you have the 68 Dodge Dart. Love this car. Fantastic color. And I love those wheels. I know some people don't like them, but I love those wheels. Decorations on top. Mopar on the side. Nothing. Nothing. I paused just to trick you. Hyper Rocker. Another. Uh, that seems high, but uh, that's, how, that's how high it is. And last but not least, I love this car. Glad to see it making a comeback. It showed up in a five pack, I think, a year or two ago in the Exotics uh, five packs. Jaguar XJ220. Very, very happy to see this car come back. And this is one car where I probably have all of the colors off the top of my head. And I will keep buying all of the colors. I really like that car. Now, if you didn't see the basic treasure hunt, let me just uh, look real quick, push my stack over, and we'll get it real quick. Here you go, Chevy Camaro, but it's the special edition version. And Hot Wheels basic treasure hunts will have that circle logo somewhere in the, in the paint right there. And that lets you know, and it's also there's also something behind the package it says right there. So that lets you know you have a fairly limited car. It is not in every case, but it's pretty much the treasure hunt H cases. So they're not in every case, but to be honest, they're in a lot of the cases. And on top of that, it's a real car, so it's probably going to be harder for you to find this one. Not a fantasy car. Those tend to be pretty easy to find as treasure runs. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.